Hello, today I would like to present you my recent purchase. It is a DTAP battery charger that I purchased as broken as a customer return that I would like to use for recharging my V-mount batteries that you can see over there. Those type of chargers are extremely simple. They are outputting 16.8 volt and limiting current. And you can use them on most of the mount batteries that have got DTA port with one exemption and I will show you how to spot it. Let's take a look what kind of problem we've got with this unit. I make assumption that our DTAP plug is going to have like a loose connection and this is why it's being sold as not working. But sadly we've got a major problem. We are going to grab my beautiful goal zero. I plug it in and we've got absolutely no indication of any power. And to be honest, I was pretty sad and I was telling to myself that we've got a really big problem because you basically cannot open it to try fix it. But when I switch our power lead and here I've got a different cable. This is the one that was included. And of course, yes, the inverter is working. I plug it in and guess what? We've got our LED indicator. So the only fault with that unit that was customer return was broken cable. So you have to check it out. Do not try to jump into conclusion that something inside is broken when it can be just cable. This device is extremely simple. It should output 16.8 volt, which is happy place for recharging 4S battery pack and limiting our current. So we've got our data plug. We've got information where is positive and where is negative. We've got our multimeter set into DC and we are just going to measure it. And as you can see, we are reading 16.8. 78 which is absolutely totally fine you should always read your manual to make sure that you can use the tap port for recharging but the very simple way of making sure that your d tap port is not regulated because if it is regulated then you absolutely cannot use it then you grab your multimeter in the volt mode and you are measuring the voltage on the DTAP port and as you can see we are reading 15.17 and now we go back to our regular pins it might look intimidating but we are just going to be measuring those side pins and as you can see we are reading exactly the same voltage that's mean that port is not regulated and with extremely high degree of confidence, those lines are just going to be interconnected somewhere on this board and they are tied together. So it will make absolutely no difference if you are going to be applying voltage through your slot charger here or here, they are tied together. If you are going to be reading different voltage here, then the port most likely is regulated or go through some other circuitry and you cannot use it. You might ask yourself, is it safe to grab expensive battery like this and attach to crappy charger like that? Because you most likely see those two slot sequence charger that are looking more professional. And in the description, you are going to find information that you've got over current and over voltage protection. But the funny fact is that those features absolutely do not apply to process of recharging your battery. They are just listing AC fuels on AC to DC converter inside the charger. So they put like a 10 cent fuse and they are saying it is over current protected. Then over voltage protected, they put a very store inside. On the AC side, it's got absolutely nothing to do with safety of recharging battery. So it will be just outputting 16.8 volt 
onto those pins. If the charger is expensive, it might also read the battery temp, but that's everything and you are not going to get any safety feature just by using the two slot sequence chargers that are really cheap. So absolutely do not overpay them. And we are got information where is the positive, positive is in center, here we've got positive, here we've got negative. It is fully charged because it do not see any current flowing. We attach it like this and it turn red because we are pulling current and they how they know that the battery is recharging. When it's going to be fully recharged, the current will stop flowing, the battery will stop accepting it and it will turn green. So this is everything. Absolutely beautiful tiny charger. Last word of warning, since we are not measuring temp of the battery, then I highly recommend keeping the charging current low. So when you are going to be choosing it, I've got 3 amp version and that's because my battery is 6 amp hour and I targeted like a half capacity, half C. But of course if you've got like a 200 watt hour battery then absolutely you can go toward like a 5 amp because they are available. So choose that wisely. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.